None of you will leave this house alive. You will suffer the same fate I suffer. You lie! You have no power over us! I will kill every member of this family one after the other. I come against you in the name of Jesus! Where was Jesus when I was used for the foundation of this house? The blood of anybody that sleeps at night in this house belongs to me. I will no longer allow you to save these people. You will die now. Why are you eavesdropping? Why the gate is open? Ha! It was locked. Ibukata's gate was locked. I have knocked and pushed for a long time. I heard voices inside. And I'm wondering why they didn't open the gate before now. Well, you can go inside. The gate is open. If that is what you wanted to do. Thank you. But pastor. Allow him to go in now and call Loki for me. Before you go inside. I would like to tell you what I told Pastor Samson the day he moved into this house. And what was that? Pastor. You might not know that the owner of this house was my uncle. When Pastor Samson came into town. Ebuka, I am aware that Ijele is your uncle. And as a man of God, I am doing all I can to be of spiritual help to him. It's a good thing you're trying to help him. But I want to make you understand that there is always a thin line between evil and good. So be careful so that you won't cross it. Ebuka, you are like my son. I am your pastor. And I know these things better than you. I know I don't have authority to teach you spiritual things. But believe me, I know my uncle more than you ever know. Ebuka, your uncle is a very lonely man. He has no wife and children. The only thing he needs in his life now is love. Love from those around him. As far as I'm concerned, he is a new creature in Christ Jesus. And all things are passed away. No matter how new a leopard becomes, it will never change its spots. Bear that in mind. You need a forgiving spirit, son. Pastor Samson. Are you ready for what awaits you as my uncle's newest confidant and spiritual director? Pastor Samson did not give me an answer. But I know what he's going through in this house. What are you driving at? Pastor Bina, are you sure you're ready for what awaits you in this house? Brother Ibuka, is there something you're not telling me? You don't understand my question. 
Okay, listen. My spirit tells me that something is terribly wrong in this house. I have fasted and prayed about it. But one thing is clear. Pastor Samson and his entire household need spiritual liberation. Brother Booker, I want to take you to God in prayers. And I need all the help I can get. Then, I think there's something I need to do. disturbed you. Please, I don't want the money anymore. I can't kill anybody. I can't kill my daughter. And who is going to pay for the money you have been coming here to collect and enjoy? But he just said that she will inherit everything he left behind. Nobody gives what they don't have. Everything you see here belongs to the only one who gives all the good things in life. None belong to Jelly. I can't, I can't sacrifice my daughter. It's too late now. You have come too far to chicken out. Now you listen. If you bring your daughter here and sacrifice her soul to this, you will, God forbid! Do you have any idea of what I am offering you? A life of wealth and luxury. Now you claim to be a pastor, but I can make you the standard by which pastors all over the world are judged. But you didn't get it. Now, would you rather take my offer or live a life of penury. Live on crumbs. No, no, I will not kill my daughter. I cannot sacrifice my daughter. No. You have just unleashed mayhem on your family. Position it very well, eh? so that I can peacefully smash your head into pieces. And one hit, I promise, just one hit. Your father, dear, your, your father, it's your own head that you smash into pieces. Are you mad? Cheta, this is simple. Come here, let me break your head. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What is it? Leave me alone. What is it? Ah, ah, ah. Leave me alone. What is it? Leave me Drive ticket. 
She's a ghost. What nonsense. How can she be a ghost? And how did you come into my house? Listen, if you don't leave my house now, I am going to beat you until your mother will not be able to recognize you. Leave my house now! Get out! I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone to open the gates. I can see that none of the things I told you made sense to you. I, I, I can hear voices. Well, if you can leave them alone to their fate. I wish you the best. Good day. Come across. Major Macross. You 
I'm not going anywhere. Mama, if Oma needs my help. It's your mom. Hey! Who have I offended? Come on, you're mad, Jolo. Ijoma, is this madness or something? Mama, I'm not mad. I know what I'm doing. And I have to go now. Ijoma is going to kill everybody in that house if I don't do what she asked me to do. Ijoma, your twin sister died years ago. How can you still be communicating with her? Oh, Guinea. You are not going anywhere. I have to go now. Go where? Ijoma, you are not crossing anywhere. Ijoma, my gentleman. I have to go. Ijoma, Ijoma. Ijoma. Please, please, stop. Stop whatever is going on. Eh? Stop the mayhem. I am going to do whatever you want me to. I don't want anything. But you say, please, stop what is happening in my family. I will do whatever you want me to do. Please. You are the only one capable of stopping whatever is going on in your family. I've only made you an offer. You take it, everything is beautiful. You don't take it, you have yourself to blame. Okay, I, I, will, I will take your offer. I will take your offer. Which is? <laughs> Please stop. I, I will do what you want me to do. I will sacrifice my daughter. I will. Please. You have until midnight tomorrow to do it. Failure will be catastrophic. I trust you. Hey. I, I knew you were joking. Yes. You won't destroy my precious soul. So I cannot now. <laughs> You're my lovely brother and I love you. Mm. Mm. I love you too. Mm. Yeah, well, mm. I love you again. <laughs> pastor, pastor. Pastor, pastor. I hope you will not be scared again like the other day. <laughs> Please, where is the father? That's useless, man. <laughs> Look at his trousers. <laughs> we got to stay. It's like rope. <laughs> like he wants to commit suicide. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey. Come and see my useless father. <laughs> Our father is useless. So useless. Useless people. <laughs> Don't go in there now. doing in my house. Please, leave. Leave this moment. Papa, this is past Obina you're chasing out like a common criminal. But you show him some respect. Obina, if you don't want to see how bad my madness can be, get out. I said get out! you and what are you doing here? What? Are you pretending you don't know me? Have we met before? Uh, uh, I'm here to see Okwe. What's your number? My phone number. Dummy, what do I want to do with your phone number? 
But you just asked for my number. Oko gives Stanley to all his girlfriends. What's yours? Chata, go in and tell Okui I am waiting for him outside. Oh, but that will take me to him. Oh, I can see you new. If you don't have a tally, that means you're not up to the girls that Okui does chop and clean mud with. So, vroom. Chata, are you are you all right? I am perfectly okay. I will just pretend we didn't have this conversation. I want to see Okwe now. Hmm? You want to see Okwe? Mm -hmm. Now? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't see Okwe. But I can help you. We can do things. I can actually pay you for short time. What? Chata, are you insane? Do I look like a prostitute to you? No, 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 no. I didn't say that. You don't look like a prostitute. You actually look like one that is due for retirement. There's no problem. What did you ask? What's wrong? Chita? What happened? I am going to kill this girl. Why? She has destroyed my family. Which family? Our family? No. This family. I think she has destroyed my two sacks. Yeah. If she destroyed your two sacks, you will not be working properly. In fact, it would have been better she destroyed those two useless sacks so that you can rest. Nonsense. You're taking her side. Please leave her alone. She's my guest. Let her be. Is that what you're supposed to say? You're very stupid. You, you too, you're, you, you, you're more than stupid. You're foolish. Just behave yourself. Or I'll kick those balls and you will never use them again. Nonsense. Let me kill myself. Don't worry. You, you've met my brother, Cheka. You can now come and meet the rest of my family. The rest of my family. Papa. Uh, Mama, meet each other. Good day, sir. Good day, ma. Oh, 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 why are you not responding? She's greeting you. And you did everything you could to scare everybody away from this house. But one thing you do not know is that almost everything you have done, I manipulated you into doing them. I am grateful. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. You're not capable of manipulating me. You're a liar. You refused to rest in peace because a part of you is still a life out there. But thanks to you, it will be fixed. What are you talking about? Your twin sister. I have used you to lure her to this place. You are very persuasive. And she wants to give you eternal rest. She will not rest until she steps into this place. I won't allow you to dare harm her. It's a good thing you already know what will happen to her when she steps into this place. 
You made your sister believe that you are going to kill everybody in this house. That's not nice. She wants to come and help you. But the one man she is playing for a fool to bring her into this place is going to use the knife in your hand and plunge it in her heart. Who is going to be responsible for her death? You won't kill my sister. You should be worried about the people who are going to die because you blabbed about this place. You have served your purpose. And it's high time you went back to where you belong. How else do I explain who she is to you? She's not a ghost. Eh? Can't you people understand? What? What is going on? Why are you all staring at her like that? I don't know who you said this thing is. But all I am saying right now is you take this out of this house now. Okay. Can we stop talking about ghosts? Uh, and talk about something else like, like a like food. I don't know about anyone else here, but I'm hungry. No way. Take this girl out of this compound right now. Yes. I'm more concerned about food right now. Don't you want to eat something? Uh, yes. Something hot and spicy. You see? Can a ghost eat something hot and spicy? Eh? Oh, you said you're hungry, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Come, let me get you something to eat. Uh -huh. And the rest of you, if you're hungry, you know what you're supposed to do. Good. Good. Uh, okay. Okay. Forget about this girl. Come. Come. Let me, let me teach you how to play a eh? Thank you. I have a better idea of what to do with my time. Idiot. Mama, let's go for the food. Sonia, what is wrong with you? I don't like the way you're beating around the bush. What is there in opening your mouth and telling me what the problem is? Do you know that I've always thought that Ijoma is incapable of telling lies? Why did you say that? I thought you have always believed her. Yes, I believe her. But not until she mistakenly told me one thing the most outrageous story I've ever heard in my entire life. Which is? The reason she drew Okwe close to her was to use him to gain access into their house. Hey! You see it? Was that not the same thing I've been telling you? And you thought I was being stupid? She's not going there because of the money. She said she wants to go and destroy something she said is in a secret truth. What kind of story is that? She didn't explain further. She only begged me to tell her mother about it if she goes in there and doesn't come out. Hey! <laughs> I wonder why some people would think they are the only ones with brains. She thinks you're being stupid. And now, she wants to use you to pass the information to her mother that she is now Pastor Samson's daughter-in-law. That is my annoyance. If you know what is good for you, just turn around and go back to where you're coming from. Mama, please. Let me explain. Explain what? Keep that explanation and sorry to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Just leave this compound immediately. What? Leave it immediately before I hit you. Mama, please try to understand. I went there because Ifoma asked me. Shut up. Just shut up. Don't bring in your late twin sister into this. Don't. You better choose between dying in that house and dying in my house. Okay, yeah. Mama, 
Please just listen to me this once. You know I won't do anything to break your heart. Let me explain to you, please. That is what you have just done. You've broken my heart. Leave. Leave! I told you. You think you're stubborn. My is even worse. You got it from me. Stupid girl. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk through the valley of shadow of death? I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, the rod and the staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Who are you? They call me demon, but I think I have the heart of an angel. Did the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ save your breath? I have not come for peace. I have only come to warn you to stay away from Samson's family and be saved. And be saved? Now you listen, you foul spirits. It is only those who confess with their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in their heart that God raised him from the dead will be saved. Death becomes a you. And I will not warn you again. Those who have the Son of God have life. But those who do not have the Son of God do not have life. Then, seek ye your Lord while he may still be found. Call upon him while he may still be near. For when I come for you, he will leave and forsake you. I really find it difficult to believe. Mama, when I ran into the compound, they stared at me as if they saw a ghost. If they haven't seen me before, why would they do that? Hey. I have always known that your uncle killed your late twin sister. But there was no way I could prove it. Mama, she has given us the proof by haunting the house. Hmm? So, what do we do? Um, I have to search for the small coffin she told me about and destroy it. Hey! Hmm. I, I really don't know what to think about allowing you to go into the house. Hmm? Hey, Yuma, I don't want to lose you. Oh, you will not lose me. You will I don't not want to lose you. Oh, Mama. You won't lose me. Informa assured me that nothing will happen to me. But the problem I might have is to convince Okui to take me to the house and into the secret room. Yes. If your late twin sister could appear to you, Ichoma, she could easily enter the house and into the secret room to destroy the coffin. Don't you think so? I've searched the entire house. I've searched all the rooms. Yet I couldn't find any money. How does my father get the money he spends on a consistent basis? 
Since we moved into this house, he has not even been to the bank. Where does he get the money he spends? Have you ever wondered what is behind the door of the room he does not allow anybody to enter? There is a lot of money in there. Check. That's room. I must find the key. Please don't be offended. I just want to find out if Okwe is at home. So, because you just said this, I should answer you, right? Listen, it is important I see him. I need to tell him of Ijoma's evil intention towards him. And he is not aware of it. What evil intention? You want to see Oku, right? Yes, I want to see him. to the mind, you know? It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> What's wrong with you? So even small, you cannot give me some. Please, please, please. Oh, please. <laughs>
So that it is said that the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and only the violent take it by force. You are going to wait forever if you expect her to willingly give her body to you. What are you going to do about it? Take it by force. Rape her. Rape her. She wants it. She wants it. Rape her. You want it too, it's fun. Go ahead. her to go call Pastor Obina. No, it was just a way to get her out of the way. I know Pastor Obina will not come here after the way I threw him out of the house the last time he was here. You must be a fool to think that you can outsmart me. Now let me tell you something. You and your family are going to end up in the news tomorrow. Just like one of those families that go to sleep and never woke up again. No, 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 please. Don't do this to my family. I'm not trying to outsmart you. Take my life. Just leave my family out of this. Kill you? I don't kill people. I don't take lives. It's you humans who take lives in every kind of unimaginable way. But you just said that my family and I will be dead by tomorrow. I only gave the idea to you and your family. How you carry it out, it's not my doing. Jesus Christ. Don't you dare mention that name in my presence again. Okay, I'm sorry. I will not. Please, take back your idea about my family. I will go now and sacrifice my daughter. Please. You know, you don't have to go after girls if you are rich. If I were you, I would just kill my father. Take over the house. Take over everything he has. After all, it's your inheritance. Think about it. for each other. How did you know I'm looking for her? I thought Chekube came to your house to visit you. Chekube? Am I, am I supposed to know her? She is one of my friends that you've been going after for a while now. You're making a mistake. I, I don't know who she is. Um, would you know if Ijoma is around? Chekube came to your house and it's been hours now. I've not seen her. What are you talking about? 
Would she be with me and I'm here looking for Ijoma? Please, I do not know anybody by that name. Okay? Sonny. Good afternoon, Mama. Please. Have you heard from your friend? Good afternoon, Mama. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mama. Sonny, have you heard from your friend? No. She's she's not around. I've not even seen her. She's not in the house. So, what are you doing with him in my in my house? Ah, me? Go for a bit. I, I, I'm not into with him. Um, Okuchuku. Mama. Wait. If you want to marry my daughter, talk to her and win her heart. Hmm? Do you understand me? I said, do you understand me? Yes, ma. Can I meal it? Let me rally. I know you asked me to stay back because there is something you wanted to show me. But to be honest with you, Dad, I'm not interested in seeing what it is. What are you saying? That I'm not leaving this room. Kosara, do you realize that you're talking to your father? Of course, Dad. I, I know I'm talking to you. Decided that when everybody comes back, I will tell them that we are moving away from here and that we are moving back to Newe. Really? Yes. Like we are all moving back to Newe? Yes. God is my witness. Just come with me. Okay, Daddy. Thank you. 
are you and what are you doing in my house? May the peace of the Lord be with you, madam. God bless you. Um, I was actually passing by and the Lord ministered to me and told me to inform you that you shouldn't worry about your daughter. She's not going anywhere. What did you just say? I said, I was passing by when the Lord ministered to me. I know you are going through a lot at the moment. And it is not something anybody that calls himself a man of God can handle. And what kind of problem do you think my family and I are having at this moment? I know that you have been worried about your daughter's state of health. But the truth is that you all have been living in illusion. Look at your two sons. They are almost useless. Uh, I'm sorry to say that, but it's the truth. I see rancor and acrimony in this home. Everybody, everybody out there thinks you're living the best times of your life. But the truth is that you and your family are living your worst nightmares in this time. See why every member of your family thinks you're a fool? I'm not a fool! I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a fool! Do you think I'm a fool? Do you think I'm a fool? I said every member of your family. The Lord told me that he will reveal your enemies to you and vindicate those you feel are your enemies. I don't understand you. Your daughter's friend who sold her out to your enemies has been visited upon with death that she wished your daughter. Ah. Ah. Who? Who? 
know. Who was the last person that visited your daughter? Sonia! Sonia! Is she dead? Where's my daughter? Nothing is wrong with your daughter. Just go home. Go home. Person. He seems to understand every of our problem. He doesn't know us, but already told me everything that is wrong with us. I believe God is going to use him to help us. Man of God, that's my husband Samson and my daughter Kosara. Man of God, you're welcome to my home. Bless you, sir. Bless you. What do you think you're doing? Pastor Samson. Does your family know the source of the money you've been spending on them? Jesus! Don't you dare start something that will make me expose you. What is there to expose about me? Are you scared I'm going to tell them the truth they really need to know about you? Now, as I walked into this house, the Lord revealed to me that you were about to use your daughter for ritual. You wanted to kill her? Ah! Liar! Liar! Don't you believe him? He's lying! He's lying! Pastor Samson, what is that in your hand? A key! I don't care. 
care if you are the stop. I don't care. I want to know why every one of you thinks I'm a fool. Why do you think I'm a fool? Tita, what are you talking about? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Stop pretending. Why do you think I'm a fool? What? Son, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. Who is this? Who is this? You know what? You know what? Can't you see? This is a family affair. Who ask? Look, if you say anything again, I will bust your head. Look, you need to tell me why you think I'm a fool. Jedachu, don't talk to a man of God like that. Show some respect. Hey, Funanya, shut up. Are you stupid? He is not a man of God. He is an imposter. He is the one manipulating everyone in this house. He wants us to start killing each other. <laughs> I will be the first to start killing each and every one of you if you don't tell me why you think I'm a fool. Do you think I'm a fool? You, you, you think I'm a fool? Hey, 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 I can see there is nothing more I can do for this family since you've not welcomed me with open arms. You sit here! You, you sit here! You sit here! You see what you will cost! You see it now! Look! Look! You think I'm playing? You don't think I'm playing? I'm not going to you! 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 I'm not
himself will descend from heaven with the cry of a thunder and with the voice of an archangel and with the sound of the trumpet of God and only the dead in Christ will rise first pastor or whatever you call yourself say what nonsense you want to say and get out of here if you do not cleanse the evil in your heart and amend your ways Jesus Christ <clears throat> Jesus Christ madam Please do not waste your anger on this poor innocent girl lying dead here. For she's dead for the same reason you would have died in the brother's hands if these people have not held him back. What reasons would I have died in his brother's hands? Oh, 
Why you disturb my best friend? What nonsense of concern are you talking about? Huh? What do you want to do? We're prefer to kill him so we can inherit everything. The house, the cars. And you're talking about what you're talking about. Stop. You do know this of is my best friend. Head. I will kill you today. Cheta, I will Cheta, kill Cheta. you. Cheta, I, will, I will kill you. Cheta, 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 Cheta. Cheta. That woman is responsible for your sister's death. Kill her. Kill her now! Unless you're a coward, kill her. Kill her now. Kill her. Kill her. Do not listen to that voice. Do not listen to any voice! That is the voice of the devil! Do not listen to that voice! I rebuke you! I rebuke you! Greater than all the wisdom of the powers of darkness. We are all in God's hands. And no weapon that be fought against us shall prosper. Don't call them. Don't you dare make such stupid offenses. I cast the fire of the Holy Ghost upon all the bonds you have on us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost burn you in the name of Jesus. I cast the fire of the Holy Ghost upon the bonds you have on every one of us. In the name of Jesus. Now you have not seen the last of me. You have not seen the last of me. Lord. I rebuke you. Do not listen to that voice. Do not listen to the voice of the devil. Wanted me to bring you to this house. How do you know about this one? Where's the money? Where's the money? I don't understand what is happening, but seriously, I didn't touch any money. I saw, I saw it, I swear. If you don't tell me how my money is, I will slit your throat right now.
Mama, what happened? Why are you on the floor? Did you hit me on my head? I will hit you again. If you ever try to kill Mama, I swear to God, I will hit you again. Try to kill Mama? How? Oh. Me? When?
I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home. I want to go home. <laughs> Walk in flesh, for we do not walk according to flesh. In this battle, O oh Lord, we will be victorious, because that is your promises. Children of God, stand firm. Fear not and see the salvation of God. Amen. Lord, I come to you, O oh God. I come to you because you are God. And you are God forever. Amen. Nothing shall my enemies come near us. We shall be victorious, O Lord, in this battle. Where's coming my help? My help coming from the Lord. In the name of Jesus, destroy every plus of evil plans of God. And help me. That is the truth of praying. I don't know how the money disappeared. This is what I came to do. But I still want my money. My money, please. Just, 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 just tell me where the money is. I swear, I will not kill you. I will spare your life. Please, please, don't, please. Please don't kill me. Believe me, I just told you the truth. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Oh, shut up! 
I have never taken a life before. You humans kill one another. I don't. But there's a saying, you humans say there's an exception to every rule. So right now, I am taking you all to hell. In the name of Jesus! Amen. Come back and in the name Jesus. of Jesus! 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 Don't run. 